So you might be in a position where you're trying to recover some deleted Android data. So quite potentially, maybe you have an Android phone and possibly you deleted some random stuff within it. Now I'm going to break down a few cases. The first thing being is photos. Maybe you deleted some random photos from your Android phone and you might be trying to recover them. Well, the first thing I'd recommend doing is to always make your way over to your photo application within your Android phone. So whether that's the gallery, whether that's Google Photos, whatever the case is, you wanna make your way over to that specific photo application. And all you wanna do here is you want to see if you can actually find that little panel that says trash. So as you can see for us right here, you can see that there's camera, photos, whatever this stuff is. But sometimes if you look around, you should be able to find a little trash option. You may have to click a button to find it. On our gallery app on Samsung, it's right there. On Google Photos, it's also a little trash icon. You wanna click on it and you wanna go ahead and see if you can actually find your deleted photos within the trash option of your Android phone. As I mentioned, you would not believe how often this is probably the case. And all you're going to have to do here is to pretty much just go ahead and recover them by just holding down those photos and you'll actually be able to recover those photos. Now, if for some reason you completely cannot find these photos or maybe you've lost your phone, you can't even find or whatever the case is, well, there are a lot of times where some online profiles may actually end up having your photos saved and you might not even know about it. So the first thing is if you have, you know, your messages enabled, I would just recommend going through finding your specific messages, going through those messages, group chats, whatever, and you'll be able to find photos that way and you'll be able to you know, hold them down and save those photos that way. You can also check your Google Drive or other storage options. Sometimes you may have your photos and videos stored up there. You might not even realize it. You can click on here, find those photos and, you know, save them that way. All your online profiles for the most part as well. Things like Snapchat, Instagram, those may end up having some photos and videos that you probably even forgot about. So you can always save those photos there. You can also check WhatsApp. So many different options there as well. So that's another option you have too. Again, it may not have all your photos, but it's still another easy way to recover a lot of those types of data points as well. Now you may be also in a situation where you want to go ahead and recover some deleted text messages. Now this one is a little bit more tricky because usually if they're deleted, they're pretty much gone. You may still be able to find a little trash option though or recently deleted option within that messaging panel though. So within you know, the standard messaging application, as you can see, you want to just keep a lookout for a little three dots icon. You can see I see the three dots right there. So what I can do is just click on those three dots get this little pop-up that comes down. And from here, I can go and click on trash. I can go and click on a lot of other options too. And usually what'll happen is it'll go ahead and show me a lot of those deleted messages that I've just had. So here you can see I have this trash option. And from here, all I have to do is just go ahead and hold down on the messages here. And I'll be able to recover those messages and those other deleted situations as well. So that's another big thing that can probably end up, you know, kind of recovering some text messages too. If you've backed up those messages anywhere on Google or on anywhere else, maybe even Gmail, if you have any of those messages there, you might be able to recover some of those, you know, specific points and specific data from that point as well. Now, finally, if you're in a situation where you deleted some random applications from your phone and you might be trying to recover the data from those as well, well, usually good news is, is that all of these applications for the most part have an online profile. Meaning, if you go to Snapchat, if you go to Instagram, if you go to majority of applications, you'll be able to recover those specific deleted applications literally by just re-downloading that app. So here, if we make our way over to our app, you know, Google Play Store, I can go and open it up, and I can go ahead and try finding that application. So in this case, let's say it was TikTok. So let's just go ahead and download TikTok. Well, if I were to go ahead and download TikTok, well, what's going to happen is, is that that application is still going to basically have my specific profile logged into this account. And most of the time I can log in via my Google account that's already within built in within this phone that I've already kind of logged into. So that's another big thing. All you have to do is just re-download those applications and your data should already be, you know, stored in those apps for the most part. So that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. Thank you.